Okay, traders, uh, on the educational part of uh, today's session, I want to talk to you about um, hood and also about uh, market direction. I start with the market direction, the S&P 500, as you can see here. The S&P started low today, but uh, kept moving higher to the point where it closed the gap and a little bit more. The, point, the, the exact point where it closes the gap is, is not very important. What is important uh, is the area where the gap is closed. Now, there's uh, two reasons to, see, to think that uh, we're going to have a pullback at, at these highs. One of them is the fact that we moved higher and closed the gap. And the second is the fact that we moved higher for a long, long time without a pullback. That's a 45 minute move here in five minute candles. And the S&P moved up almost without a serious enough pullback. So I expected for the pullback, which did come, did come. I expected it, but I did not know if it's going to continue, meaning if it's going to just be a small pullback from the highs. Actually, not a small pullback. I can show you if you take a look at uh, Fibonacci. Uh, let me put up the Fibonacci. I'll take it from the lows to the highs here. So you can see that uh, that point, um, the one right over here, you see, the pullback that we had is exactly the 61.8 Fibonacci. You see that 61.8 here? So if you take a look at the whole upside move of the S&P, we did find support exactly at the Fib point. Now that's um, a lot of people are using Fibonacci, a lot of traders are using Fibonacci, investors, whatever. And when they're seeing the S&P pulling back 61.8% um, or again to that area, really, they will buy. Fibonacci is all based on, you know, it's all based on, actually, we're going to talk about it today in the Star Trader course as well, because again, it's all based on a visual uh, acceptance of the way that the uh, stock should look like. That in the eyes of Fibonacci looks like the golden ratio or the, the perfect move from the highs. So the perfect pullback from the highs is 61.8%. That's why people are tending to buy it over there and look at the way they bought it right over there. So I, I expected we're going to have a pullback once we close the gap. And because it took it quite a long time, I did not know whether we're going to come down, stop at the Fibonacci line, or we're going to continue coming down. That I couldn't have known. Now, I was trading hood, right? I was shorting hood. I survived I was shorting and I survived the hood moving higher. I had my stop loss somewhere, can't remember where, but I survived that move. Move And then hood started going sideways. It started, started going sideways for a long, long time. And once it was going sideways, I was hoping to get the market support. And again, if you take a look at what happened after 45 minutes or so, when the market started coming down, and again, that's hood here with five minute candle, Hood finally responded. Since I was waiting for the market to move down, I was also waiting for Hood to return to my entry point, which was 45.41, right over here. And obviously, if it comes to that point, that's a breakdown point under this consolidation, probably come down a little bit more. Now, I couldn't have known that the market will stop here, and I couldn't have known that Hood will stop here. But the market did stop right here at the lows, and Hood stopped exactly at the same point. And uh, again, if you take a look at uh, the Fibonacci with uh, Hood, then you will find that it's very similar. You see, well, actually came down a little bit more, a little bit more. But um, yeah, so Hood responded a bit, a bit more than the, the market, but uh, definitely came down with the market. And I couldn't have known that the market will stop here. I was hoping that the market will continue. Therefore, I was holding to hold, hoping it's going to come down with the market. Well, I, I missed that move. I could have taken a small profit here and then it moved higher. But when it came down again, that was the point where I decided that, well, I had enough. <laughs> I didn't uh, take my partial here. I mean, just moved out with a, I could have moved out with small profit. Then I decided to move here out 
with a small profit and it was the right decision as you can see because it keeps going sideways. I don't know what's going to happen in one hour from now but based on the market you see the market came back up. Nasdaq moved over the highs so if you take a look at the Nasdaq you will see it right over here then you can see that the Nasdaq already moved over the highs and sometimes the Nasdaq is the pre-warning to what is about to happen to the S&P 500. The reason it's a pre-warning is because it's a lot of technology companies that are vol volatile than the S&P therefore uh, it's uh, sometimes easier to understand what the S&P is going to do based on the Nasdaq. So if I'm reading the market correctly, the market should, the S&P, I would call, I call the market S&P. The S&P is going to, very likely to move over the highs. Uh, Hood, just like it responded to the fact that the S&P pulled back from the highs, is likely to respond to the S&P. Therefore, I don't want to play a little bit more in between uh, red and green. So, end result for me today is green. Here's my results for today. I'm going to finish up $8,000. Uh, um, no complaints here. I had a great trade in Tesla. Quite a big loser in PDD. Neo, a small winner. Hood, a small winner. I mean, Hood was smaller really than Neo uh, in terms of, uh, of points, but I did add to Hood and uh, turned out to be uh, a little bit more profitable dollar wise, but just a small winner really. So, um, end result today, green. Green is good. I'm happy. Could have been nicer, of course. But three winners, one other. Can't complain. So, thank you all for watching and uh, joining us today. If you are on YouTube and you didn't give us a thumb up, we would really, really appreciate if you do that. It's one, just one click of a button. And uh, there's uh, plenty of links below your video, your live video, where you can join us for a free 14-day trial to the trading room. And uh, I want to thank you all for joining today. Nice green day. As most of our days here. Most of them are. So thank you again. I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. And of course, I'll see some of you today in the Star Trader course. Bye, traders.